Hi everybody, so today we're going to be talking about the deencephalon. And basically the deencephalon is a um, part of your brain, and it's made up of four parts. It's made up of the epithalamus, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, and the subthalamus. So let's go ahead and list those. And um, first of all, the epithalamus, okay, it looks like it's the highest one, but the epithalamus is basically it has a gland named the pineal gland. And what it's responsible for is basically for your sleep, for helping you sleep. You have the thalamus, and the thalamus is basically a relay station. And what it's going to do is it's going to be responsible for relaying um, sensory, motor, and uh, limbic information between the cerebral cortex and the body. So it's going to be responsible for the limbic system information. Uh, it's going to be responsible for sensory information and it's also going to be responsible for your motor information coming from the cerebral cortex down to the body. Okay, so that's going to be the, the, th uh, the thalamus. Then we have the hypothalamus and the hypothalamus is going to be responsible for your autonomic nervous system um, it's also going to be responsible for um, endocrine. It plays a role in the endocrine system. It also uh, plays a role in the limbic system. And again, your limbic system is your emotions. Okay, and then the last one is going to be the subthalamus. So with the subthalamus, the subthalamus is going to be responsible for playing a role in uh, sexuality. It plays a role in uh, food and water maintenance. And it also plays a role in your cardiovascular system or cardiovascular activity. So let's take a look at where these are in the brain. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a brain. And let's go like this. All right. And um, I'm going to draw the corpus callosum. So if you recall, the corpus callosum actually helps the right side of the brain communicate with the left. So here's my corpus callosum. Okay, and this is not a part of the deencephalon, just, just so you know. And then right about here, this is going to be your thalamus. All right, so there's the thalamus. And then coming off the back of the thalamus, we have a, a little structure here. And then we are going to have our penile gland. And like we said, the penile gland is going to be responsible for releasing melatonin. And the melatonin is what helps you sleep. Okay. And then if we come up over in here, we have an extension that comes off of here. And this is going to come down to the optic chiasm. So I'm just going to draw an X for the optic chiasm. What the optic chiasm is, is in the back of your eyes, you have the optic nerves, and then 50% of the nerves cross over to the other side. So it actually makes an X. And that's going to be located right about here. And then if we go from there, we can come down, and it's going to extend down to this area in here. And what's going to be down here, one second, what's going to be down here is your pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland actually releases several hormones, which we'll talk about. I'm going to make a video on the hypothalamus, and we'll talk about that then. So here's my pituitary gland. And then a part, another part of the hypothalamus is you have something called mammillary glands or mammillary bodies. And what mammillary bodies do is they help you put memories with smell. 
So if we look, we have this area that's right in here. So this area that's in here would be our hypothalamus. So this area right in here is going to be the hypothalamus. So like we said, um, the deencephalon, oh, and I've got one more. If I go right about in here, let me just erase some of this here. Right around in here, we have the subthalamus. Okay, so um, so we again the deencephalon is going to be the epithalamus, and again, so the pineal gland makes up a large part of the epithalamus. So it's going to be in this area right in here. Um, so we have the the epithalamus, the thalamus, the subthalamus, and the hypothalamus. That's what makes up my uh, my deencephalon. So thank you so much for watching.